This is part 3 of 3 of this topic. If you haven't watched part 1 and 2, please look for the link in the description box and watch that first, as they will provide context for this part. So I would say that the Karate Punch is one of the most, if not the most, unintuitive punch in martial arts. And that's mainly because you have to rotate the wrist without rotating the elbow along with it. So you have to avoid this, but keep this here. This training goes back to the range of intuitive control and the two understandings. So the first thing we can write is the structure. Some may say that it's not easy to get the structure right. You will tend to bend the elbow if you point the elbow down and point the arms down. And that this will cause a problem. Actually, it's not that difficult, like how I showed you. Starting as one, two, three. It's fully straight, it's pointed down. So that's the structure. That's the first thing you need to get right. Next thing to practice is extension and retraction without concerning rotation of wrist. So what you need to do is start with both palms facing up, fully extend and fully retract, and switch side, switch, change, and ensure that your elbow is rested down. Practice this many times, increase the speed with a bit of pause. Like this, don't bother about wrist rotation. Once you get used to that motion, now is the next practice. The next practice is wrist rotation without rotating your elbow. The easy way is to start with your elbows bent, drop your arm, raise your forearm, and practice rotation such. This could actually be a muscle endurance exercise for your forearm. Slowly, straightening slightly. Do the same thing. Then a bit more. Then straight. Sooner or later, you'll get used to it. The more you do, the more time you get, of course. You can hold your elbow if you want to. But as long as you start here. Next is connecting them. To connect them, we must first start with what I call the sequencing stage, where you perform one component of the technique, followed by a pause, then followed by the next component. This, this, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. To eventually you reduce the pause between first movement and second movement. Where there is no pause between the components, I call this the connecting stage. So try that and make sure this is done. Just shorten the pause more. So once you can do this anytime you want to without without needing to think hard about it. That is, that it is now within your range of intuitive control. This is when you start practicing this. Eventually, it turns into combining them. Same time. So as you move forward, you rotate. As you move forward, you rotate. Regarding combining it, regarding the timing of when to rotate as you extend, uh, most karate, if not mistaken, including Shitoryu, does not really specify when to rotate. So generally you assume you rotate as you extend, especially for punching hand. But the way uh, Kanazawa's Shotokan, how 
which Kira was one of our teachers, is the retract for the retraction arm, you rotate as you retract, but for the extending arm, you only start rotating as the arm has extended halfway here. So the way he teaches is to go halfway, extend and retract, but do not rotate the extending arm, rotate halfway the retracting arm, and then complete. So one, two, one, two, one, two. My guess is that the idea is that rotation of wrist is much faster than extended arm. So if you want to both to perform at the higher speed, you have to start only halfway. If you want that timing. But if you're gonna start rotating from the start of the extension, then the rotation will probably slow down. What's most important is the, the, the completion of the rotation and the completion of the extension must end at the same time. This Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed on YouTube, do subscribe. That will help me make more customizations on my YouTube channel. I produce informational technical contents that explores the mechanics of, learning of, and teaching of karate techniques. Like and share and hit the YouTube bell button for notification updates. I am Sensei Z and this is a Karate Z video.